Are we alone in the universe? Or are there other intelligent civilizations out there waiting to be discovered? For decades, we've been searching the stars, listening for signals, and scouring the cosmos for signs of life. The question is, why? Why haven't we found any evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence? It's a mystery that has puzzled scientists and astronomers for years. A paradox that bears the name of one of the most brilliant minds of our time, Enrico Fermi. In this video, we'll delve into the fascinating world of the Fermi paradox, exploring the possible explanations for why we haven't found aliens yet, and what this could mean for the future of humanity. So strap in, grab a cup of coffee, and get ready for a journey that will take you to the edge of the universe and back. The universe is a vast and mysterious place. For centuries, we've looked up at the stars and wondered if we are alone in the cosmos. But in the 20th century, we took a step beyond mere speculation and began actively searching for extraterrestrial intelligence. This quest is known as the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence, or SETI. While the search has produced a wealth of knowledge and fascinating discoveries, it has also posed a perplexing question that has stumped scientists for decades. Why haven't we found aliens yet? This question bears the name of one of the most brilliant minds of our time, Enrico Fermi. Fermi was a physicist who played a key role in the development of the key areas of science, but he was also a deep thinker who pondered the mysteries of the universe. In 1950, Fermi posed a simple question that has since become known as the Fermi Paradox. If there are so many stars and planets out there, and so many chances for life to exist, why haven't we found any evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence? The Fermi Paradox is not just a philosophical conundrum, it is a scientific mystery that has inspired astronomers and researchers to search for answers. One of the most famous attempts to quantify the probability of extraterrestrial life is the Drake Equation. This equation attempts to calculate the number of civilizations in our galaxy that could potentially communicate with us. However, despite the efforts of SETI researchers, we have yet to detect any signals that definitively point to the existence of intelligent extraterrestrial life. So, the question remains, why haven't we found aliens yet? In the rest of this video, we'll explore the possible answers to this question, the latest scientific discoveries, and what it could mean for the future of humanity. The universe is vast, and its sheer size is difficult to comprehend. The observable universe is estimated to contain more than 2 trillion galaxies, each with hundreds of billions of stars, and potentially as many planets. To put this into perspective, the number of stars in the observable universe is estimated to be greater than the number of grains of sand on all the beaches of planet Earth. Given the vastness of the universe, it seems almost certain that there must be other intelligent life forms out there. This idea is the basis of the Drake Equation, which was developed by astronomer Frank Drake in 1961. The equation estimates the number of potential extraterrestrial civilizations in the Milky Way galaxy that are capable of communicating with us. The Drake Equation takes into account factors such as the rate of star formation, the number of habitable planets per star, the likelihood of life arising on a habitable planet, and the lifetime of a communicating civilization. While the equation is highly speculative, it suggests that there could be tens of thousands of potential alien civilizations in the Milky Way alone. However, despite the optimistic estimates provided by the Drake Equation, we have yet to find any definitive evidence of extraterrestrial intelligence. This is known as the Fermi Paradox, which states that if there are so many chances for life to exist, why haven't we found any? One possible explanation for the Fermi Paradox is that the distances between stars are so vast that it is difficult to detect and communicate with other civilizations. Even the closest star to our solar system, Proxima Centauri, is more than four light years away, meaning that any communication would take at least eight years to travel back and forth. In addition, the signals from any potential alien civilizations may be too weak to detect, or they may be using a communication method that we are not yet capable of detecting. Another possible explanation is that life may be rare, or that intelligent life may be rare. While there are billions of potentially habitable planets in our galaxy, it is still possible that the conditions necessary for life to arise are extremely specific and unlikely to occur. Overall, the vastness of the universe, 
the estimated number of potential alien civilizations based on the Drake equation, and the argument from probability all point to the likelihood of intelligent extraterrestrial life. However, until we find definitive evidence, the Fermi paradox will continue to be a mystery that scientists and researchers will try to unravel. One possible explanation for the Fermi paradox is the Great Filter Hypothesis. This theory proposes that there may be some hypothetical obstacle that prevents life from reaching a certain stage of development, such as the ability to travel through space or to communicate across long distances. The Great Filter could be a rare and catastrophic event, such as a gamma-ray burst, or it could be a more subtle process, such as the development of intelligent life being more difficult than we previously thought. Another possibility is the rare Earth hypothesis. This theory suggests that Earth-like planets and conditions may be rare in the universe, making the existence of intelligent life a much less likely outcome. The conditions necessary for life to arise and thrive on a planet are very specific and delicate, and it is possible that such planets are few and far between. The zoo hypothesis proposes that aliens are out there, but they are intentionally hiding from us. They may be observing us, but are choosing not to make contact. This theory suggests that there may be some sort of prime directive in place that prohibits contact between civilizations that have not yet achieved a certain level of technological or social development. Another possibility is that advanced civilizations may inevitably destroy themselves before we can detect them. This idea is known as the self-destructive civilizations hypothesis. It suggests that any civilization that becomes too advanced may be prone to self-destruction, either through technological mishaps or societal collapse. Finally, the alien interference hypothesis proposes that extraterrestrial civilizations may be actively preventing us from making contact. They may be deliberately interfering with our attempts to detect their signals, or they may be manipulating our technology in subtle ways to prevent us from developing the necessary means of communication. While each of these hypotheses is highly speculative and unproven, they offer intriguing possibilities for why we have not yet found definitive evidence of extraterrestrial life. As the search for intelligent life continues, these ideas will likely continue to spark the imagination and curiosity of scientists and the public alike. The search for extraterrestrial intelligence is an ongoing and exciting field of study that has captured the imagination of scientists and the public alike. One area of particular interest is the search for biosignatures on exoplanets, or signs of life that can be detected from afar. Biosignatures can take many forms, including the presence of certain gases in a planet's atmosphere, the detection of organic molecules, or even the observation of seasonal changes that suggest the presence of living organisms. While the search for biosignatures is still in its early stages, Advances in technology and observational techniques are making it increasingly possible to detect these subtle signals. Another area of interest is the possibility of detecting techno-signatures, or signs of technology on other planets. This could include the detection of radio signals, artificial structures, or even the presence of large-scale energy usage. While the detection of techno-signatures is more challenging than the search for biosignatures, it remains a tantalizing possibility that could help us to find evidence of intelligent life beyond our own planet. Artificial intelligence is playing an increasingly important role in the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. With vast amounts of data to sift through and analyze, AI can help to identify patterns and anomalies that might be missed by human observers. Machine learning algorithms can also be trained to recognize specific patterns or signals, making it easier to detect and identify potential biosignatures or technosignatures. In addition to its analytical capabilities, AI is also being used to help design and run simulations of alien life and civilizations. These simulations can help to inform our understanding of what we might expect to find when searching for extraterrestrial intelligence as well as the types of signals or structures that might be indicative of intelligent life. As we come to the end of our journey exploring the Fermi paradox and the search for extraterrestrial intelligence, we hope that you have found this video as exciting and thought-provoking as we have. Remember, the search for alien life and the mysteries of the universe are ongoing and constantly evolving. We encourage you to continue learning, exploring, and questioning the world around us. 
Thank you for watching, and we look forward to continuing this journey of discovery with you in the future. Don't forget to leave your thoughts and comments below, and please subscribe to our channel for more fascinating videos on technology, space, and the mysteries of the universe. Until next time, keep looking up.